if you're a designer working on your portfolio right now or are planning to work on it during this upcoming holiday break, I wanted to share a trend I've noticed, one that you should definitely avoid. I recently came across this tweet from Alex and he basically said, designers, please stop overcomplicating your portfolio website. And honestly, he's right. I've noticed the same exact thing when looking at portfolios lately. So today I'm gonna break down why beautiful portfolios often don't convert and show you exactly what to do instead, especially if you want your portfolio to get you hired. But before we do that, we have to talk about the real reason behind how we got here. We're in this era where tools like Framer and Webflow make it extremely easy to add complex animations to your portfolio website. What used to take hours of hand-coded CSS or JavaScript can now be done in just a few simple clicks. And naturally, designers experiment. They add motion, they add interaction, and they add scroll effects. And before they know it, their portfolio feels less functional and more amateur. The moment your portfolio becomes harder to use, recruiters leave. Beautiful portfolios fail because they're often over-designed. But the real issue isn't that these effects are easier to add, but it's who designers are trying to impress by adding them. Another big reason designers keep adding more effects and animations to their portfolio website is simple. They're trying to impress other designers. They want likes or nominations on sites like awards.com. But here's the hard truth. If you're looking to get hired, the audience you're optimizing for aren't designers. They're recruiters, they're hiring managers, they're product leads who are often looking at 30 plus portfolios in one sitting. To them, your preload animations, your scroll jacking effects, and your reveal animations aren't craft, they're simply just annoying. This is the mismatch that kills your chances of getting hired. So instead of trying to impress other designers, here's what you should actually do. High converting portfolios that actually get you hired share the same principles. Number one, motion is used intentionally. It's more subtle, not everywhere. It's only used in areas to help guide the attention or clarify hierarchy. Second, they prioritize simplicity using minimal backgrounds, strong typography, and predictable layouts. Third, they optimize for recruiters and hiring managers. When these fundamental principles and elements come together, your portfolio becomes exactly what it's supposed to be, a tool that gets you hired. If you want to save time and avoid all the usual portfolio mistakes, I wanted to also remind you about my Framer portfolio template, Lo-Fi. It's designed to help product UI UX designers just like you stand out and cut through the noise. If you want to know the exact tactics or the secret science to making your portfolio look pro, check out this video.